The OnePlus 3T is one of the best smartphones of 2016, but the thing holding it back against the Pixel and the Pixel XL was the software. While the Pixel was running Nougat, the 3T was running Marshmallow. OnePlus said Nougat was on the horizon and that it would start rolling out the update in early January. And I've been waiting patiently, and now the day has come. This is the OnePlus 3T running Android 7.0 Nougat. Now, Android 7.0 Nougat isn't some big, huge, grand update, but it does have some pretty nifty features and behind-the-scenes improvements that significantly improve the everyday experience of Android. You'll see the launcher and home screens have not really changed much at all. You have the shelf to the left and the vertical flowing app drawer. There are some minor cosmetic changes in the notification panel and settings. You'll see the icons are blue, but that's about it. In the settings, you will see suggested settings and additional info listed below each major topic. Without actually having to tap on the topic and see that information, you can see it right here. Also, you can swipe in from the left and view the hamburger menu, which lets you easily and quickly jump to a specific topic without having to scroll all the way down the big long list. One of my favorite features though is the ability to multitask by running two applications on the screen at once. It works uh, similarly to a Nexus or Pixel device. You just need to drag and drop a running app to the top of the screen and then select a separate app to run below it. I will say though, I have noticed a glitch that will appear from time to time that will make it a little bit difficult to clear the split screen apps. Um, but overall, the feature works well. It's very fluid. There's no real lag or stuttering. But arguably even better is the feature to quickly switch back and forth between the two most recent applications that you are running by double tapping the overview button. Now, as with the split screen feature, I will say it works a little bit better on the Pixel devices or just devices in general that feature software buttons. So if you use the feature a lot, you actually might want to enable uh, the screen, the on-screen buttons instead of the capacitive buttons, uh, which you can do thanks to Oxygen OS. In the notification panel, we'll see bundled notifications, which help keep the panel much more organized than ever before. And we have a quick reply feature where you can type a reply to a text directly in the notification panel. I mean, it could be a text. It could also be a direct message on Twitter or Facebook. This feature is pretty awesome as there are no new pop-up windows or anything like that. The quick settings can be viewed and accessed from a single swipe down, but that's not particularly new to Oxygen OS. A double swipe down will reveal all of your quick settings where you can now add multiple quick settings options. Uh, you just need to tap on the edit button and drag and drop the settings that you want. There's also a data saver feature that prevents some apps from sending or receiving data in the background. The app you're currently using can access data, but may do so less frequently. This may mean, for example, that images don't display until you tap them. Overall, the software really does run beautifully on this device, but that's nothing particularly new. Marshmallow ran buttery smooth as well, thanks largely in part to the 821 processor with six gigabytes of RAM. I ran Geekbench 4 to see how it compared to Marshmallow and it spit out pretty similar results, though the multi-core score was slightly improved. Uh, it received a single core score of around 1800 and a multi-core score of around 4200. For comparison, the 3T running Marshmallow received a single core score of around 1800 and a multi-core score of around 4000. So while the 3T doesn't have all the Pixel exclusive features like unlimited cloud storage and the Google Assistant and fast software updates, it does feature nearly every other software feature and several other unique features of its own thanks to Oxygen OS version 4.0. Also, it's worth noting this device is a few hundred dollars cheaper and likely we'll see more features trickle on over to non-Pixel devices in the future, such as the Google Assistant, which is rumored to be coming to non-Pixel devices pretty darn soon. So if you're running Nougat on your OnePlus device, let us know your experience in a comment down below. Maybe thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're brand new. As always, I'm BoHD from PhoneDag.com. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you right back here in the next one. See ya.